Hey everybody, Ann here. It is way past coffee. It's late in the afternoon and I am beat. I have been struggling with that rooster coop uh, all day long. I've had to cut wood. I've had to recut wood. I've lost drill bits in the wood. Oh my gosh. So let me show you what I got done so far. I got a couple walls done. It is not completely enclosed. I'm going to put something on the inside. Um, and I've just got this on the ground for now. I may leave it on the ground. I decided to put these two panels on the side. These that were more complete, well, the ones that are more complete are in the back. Uh, chicken wire and tarp is what's going to happen with that. Um, I do think that I'm going to put wood across this logs and yeah, that's the door. Um, that's just sitting there. I put some more logs over here. No, it's not completely enclosed, but I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to put something on the inside. Um, and I may end up leaving this just on the ground. I don't know, because if I bring it up, it's just going to be as tall as those. So I'll have to lift the roof even higher. Um, I've had to cut this a, a little bit. These are going to be roosts. Um, I'm going to shove it in further over there and nail it in so it'll stay. I may put one more across here, but I've been sawing wood all day and sometimes I would have to saw like tiny pieces off. Whoops. I can't even find little pieces that are like pieces the size of this <laughs> with the bow saw just to get them to fit. Um, but you know what? I do kind of like, I keep tripping over stuff. I do kind of like the way that it looks, but it needs more on the inside. Um, I mean, basically a raccoon could just reach through that and, uh, grab one of my chickens and eat it right through that little gate there. So yeah, there's going to be some chicken wire and there's going to be some, well, it's a surprise. <laughs> I'll show you in another video, but it's getting there. Nothing is secured yet um it's just all sitting here and i may not elevate this any more than it is right now um the logs is a good idea but i don't know i just kind of think it'll be more stable anyhow uh these logs i was just going to put them on hold but they made the pallets so heavy so i split them with that little log splitter that tina gave me and uh, the little cast iron one, you just put something down in there and I was able to split them up. So that was very, very cool. I'm glad I could do that. Anyhow, oh, UPS is coming. You guys are not going to believe what I got. Well, I knew, I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming, but you know what time it is. Andrea sent me this. She got this for me and it arrived. Um, I didn't think it was going to arrive today because anything going through Memphis, it just somehow, some way, something gets messed up. Uh, I think that's where I lost my first generator, but it made it here today. So let me turn this camera around and show you what it is. This is a saw bug. It's made by Oregon and I've got to put it together. I can fold it up and I can drag it out in the woods with me or I can just leave it right here and process all this wood. Check it out, you guys. You just, you put the logs, well, see, see how this guy's doing? You just put the logs on top of it and you saw down and uh, it just stabilizes it and you get to have a whole bunch of wood cut up and it's going to be so much easier. I'll be able to stand up. Look at that. He's got all that gear on. I don't wear that much gear. Anyhow, I'm going to put this together. I don't know if I'm going to put it together today because I am so tired. And when I'm tired, I mess things up. So, oh my gosh. Thank you, Andrea. Yep, I'm going to put it together in the next video. And then I'm going to cut up some of this wood. Yeah, that's what I split those long pieces with for the chicken coop or the rooster coop. It works great. I didn't think it would work with a log, you know, kind of like, I mean, basically, I cut a, a, one of these in half and it was able to split it. So I was pretty happy, but I'm so happy about this. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to put it together. 
So what the plan is with that coop is there's going to be chicken wire on the inside of every pallet. I am going to put some more materials <laughs> um, to kind of like block the draft for in the winter. But um, I'm waiting on some chicken wire and I already know that somebody has sent me some chicken wire. And it may arrive tomorrow, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, chicken wire is going to go on the inside of this. Uh, the back part, I may put it on the back, on the outside, um, just depending in the front. Hmm, depends. Depends on how the, the wood looks and how I, I like the looks of it. Likely, it's going to go on the inside. So everything, this whole thing is going to be lined in chicken wire. And um, yeah, and then I got to get to build the yard. The roosters are going to be kept for meat, and I'm not going to build them a huge yard. Uh, and I may very well let them free range because chicken feed is expensive, <laughs> and they're not going to lay me any eggs. They may give me meat, but um, and I may give some away. Uh, we'll just have to see. But yeah, uh, once they get big enough, I may let them free range and go out and get their own food uh, to kind of cut down on feed costs. Um, I imagine they're going to go in somebody's belly. Hopefully it won't be a hawk's belly. Uh, but yeah, so I'm, I'm not going to be naming any of the roosters. Um, I'm not going to be showing them a lot to you because I don't want you to get attached to them. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am just so tired. So, uh, yeah, the, the yard is going to span the entire back part of both chicken runs, and it's not going to be very big. I do need to get some posts. I have seen some posts out in my woods. I need to look at my property line to make sure that they belong to me. Um, I didn't put them there. Some, somebody years and years ago put them there. Um, and they are all covered in chicken wire, uh, not chicken wire, um, barbed wire. So I'm going to have to pull the barbed wire off and see if I can get those out of the ground. But I have to make sure that they belong to me um, on my property before I start yanking them out of the ground. Um, but I do need some posts, not very many, but I think I may be able to pull it off. Anyhow, um, that's it, you guys. <laughs> That's what I've been doing all day long. Oh, I can't believe. And I lost a Phillips head screwdriver for my um, electric drill in the grass somewhere. So I went across the street and uh, asked Mr. Lucas and he had one. He, he let me borrow one, but the Phillips head is too small. So I'm going to have to take it back. So I looked and looked and I kind of remembered, gosh, didn't Donna B send me some, some drill bits? And I found them. Yep. Donna B saves me once again. And all those screws you sent me. Oh my gosh, girl. I've been using them right and left. So thank you very, very much. Anyhow, um, somebody spammerous keeps calling me. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.